the waves that were coming towards us were getting quite big and quite powerful. The closer we got to him, the further he got from us. The day of this shout, I was just walking through the door after finishing one of my shifts. Um, I remember just walking straight through the door, going to the kitchen to make myself a cup of tea, and then my pages went off and I was back out the door. There wasn't a huge amount of information um, from the Coast Guards other than we needed to get to Nash Point and we needed to get there quite quickly because there was a surfing difficulty. When we launched the lifeboat, it was apparent that the weather wasn't great, there was a bit of a swell coming along. Um, so we knew we were in for a bumpy ride and the distance was quite far away from the station. So we knew we needed to buckle up basically and just plow through. Um, and then it wasn't until when we got to the, um, the area where we needed to do the rescue that the weather changed again, but unfortunately for the worst, so we had worse conditions then to deal with. So it's very difficult to locate a casualty um, when the weather is bad, mainly because they're going to be wearing something dark, like a wetsuit. You don't have much light, even if it is daylight, the clouds still are quite heavy and thick and that you have a fog as well it makes it hard to pinpoint the casualty especially if you have rolling waves which we did have at, the, at that time so we could see him then a wave would come and then he'd be somewhere completely different so it was very much we needed to have our eyes on him at all times and try our very best to find him as quickly as we could so the surfer was in danger as soon as we got there. He was in an area which isn't very accessible by land, let alone by boat, just due to the sheer cliffs that are there. That heightened the urgency for us to come and get him as quickly as we could, just because it would have been a difficult extraction for what it was for the lifeboat, and it would have been even more difficult for the helicopter also. So one of the other boys located him, um, and then we knew where roughly he was. Then it was difficulty trying to get to him just because all the, the waves that were coming towards us were getting quite big and quite powerful. Um, so the closer we got to him, the further he got from us, just because we were just being beaten by waves all the time. It was quite difficult to get him on board just because the conditions, again, they weren't the best conditions that we could have done anything in. Every time we were, like I said, we were very close to getting him. We were then being pushed back further because of the conditions that we were suffering in and the waves that just kept coming and kept getting bigger and bigger. As soon as we had the opportunity to grab him, we just honked him back into the boat, basically. Get him in board, get him in board as quick as you can. It feels good to know you've saved a life especially when it's not something that comes about every day. It's a good feeling, it's a nice feeling. Um, you know someone's going back home to one of their loved ones, whereas if we hadn't been there, they might not have been able to do that. <laughs>